And turning to Northwest News, what began as a chess game with a neighbor turned into an eight-hour standoff with police this morning. Police used flash bang grenades and tear gas before an armed man surrendered at a Bellevue apartment building. Police say the man threatened his chess opponent with a gun about 2 a.m. The neighbor ran out and called police. The armed man remained inside, ignoring calls from a SWAT team to surrender, snubbing a visit from a robot and a camera, and resisting officers lobbying flash grenades and tear gas canisters. The man finally surrendered after 10 a.m., waving a white flag out his window. He was arrested for investigation of assault. Some other residents in the building were evacuated and nearby streets were blocked during the standoff. An unusual new military ship is headed to Everett for final sea trials. The Navy says the USNS Montford Point is its first mobile landing platform. It's owned by the Military Sea Lift Command. It's 785 feet long and has a deck that can be lowered for hovercraft to float on and float off. It also can be used as a seagoing pier to transfer equipment between large ships and landing craft. The Montford Point is due at Everett Friday to prepare for the final Navy inspection in the fall. The Navy also says it's scheduled for work in the late fall at Viger, Maine in Portland to add a cargo transfer feature. Some people would argue that libraries are becoming less of a need with more people buying tablets and reading books on cell phones. To make sure they're still needed, a few libraries have come up with something new to offer people. Here with the story is the Associated Press. When Ralph Mandarino needed help with his trees, he went to the library. Not for a book, but for one of these, a tree lopper. So it does make sense to buy it and to then have to store it. The Gross Point Library offers more than a hundred tools, making the back room where they're held look more like a hardware store than a book lending center. I love to work outside, so the tools that they have here which I need are perfect for my, my needs. It's not just tools. In public libraries across the U.S., people are checking out much more than reading materials. In Ann Arbor, that includes some pretty unusual stuff, including telescopes, energy meters, and instruments. We can't be everything to everyone, but we can provide a lot of opportunities to people to try out new things. It's more than simply a benefit for patrons. The growing popularity of e-readers and online resources have spurred libraries to get creative. So they are willing to explore ways to build up, not cut down, their value in the community. Mike Householder, Associated Press. Who would have guessed? A wildfire burning east of Mount Vernon has closed part of Highway 9. The Skagit Valley Herald reports no homes have been threatened and cool, damp weather is assisting firefighters. The Big Rock Fire is named for a 500-foot high local landmark, which is a popular spot for hiking and mountain bikers, although it's not technically open to the public. The Washington Department of Natural Resources reports the fire is burning in trees on rocky, steep terrain. Fire officials have not determined the cause, but suspect it might have been started with a campfire. To help fight the fire, Highway 9 was closed at times today, and a helicopter is dropping water on the hillside. That's going to do it for us here at iFiber One News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow night.